As you know, before you get any application running on the web, it has to go through your desktop computer, hosting company, FTP connection, local host setup, and on and on. You don't have to go through all that anymore. Let me show you how. Drag and drop your application on any folder you like. Set up your URL that it will run under. Click Yes to automatically download and set up the latest release of this application. Here you go. Now you can code on the web. Just click on your folders and files. See for yourself. Now let's go to the URL we just created and proceed to install WordPress. Click on Visit Page and it will open up in a new tab. CodingGen gives you databases too. My database name is Nina, my username is Nina, and my password is emailed to me. You will receive this email right after you sign up for CodingGen. Let me copy and paste my password. Hit Submit and then run the install. I'll give WordPress a blog name and my email address. Now the installation is complete. I'll copy my admin password and log in to my newly created WordPress. Here you have the admin panel of WordPress. And this is my blog. So that's it. I got my first web application running on CodingGen. I can jump in and start editing the code however I like. You can virtually install and set up any application that is available on the web. Just right click on the file tree and retrieve the context menu. Here is the list of actions you can take on your file tree. Let's download another application from the web and install it. I have another tab open with a download link for the ModX CMS application. I'll copy the link, paste it to download it from the internet, and get it unzipped to my CodingGen account. Once you hit submit, CodingGen downloads and extracts the files for you. It only takes a few seconds. There, my Modix application is extracted with its own folder. I'll go ahead and set up a URL for it. I'll click on Create a Web Root and type an easy to remember URL. In this case, it'll be modex.nina.codingen.com. I hit Submit and it's ready. Now I can click on Visit Page and proceed with its installation. We have developed a lot of cool features in CodingGen. For example, let me show you how to work on your FTP drives. Click on FTP Servers, click on Add New FTP, fill in the host, username and password, and other information if you like. Once CodingGen verifies that this server is valid, you can then mount it to your file tree. Now you can work on your FTP folder like you'd work on a regular folder. Open and edit files or create web routes all you want. You can manage your web servers, SVN repositories, and track accounts from here. Clicking on App Store will give you a list of applications. If you don't see the one you want, go ahead and add it. If you want to create your own application from scratch, right-click on File Tree and create a new file. Edit the file, type some PHP code, and then save it. Create a new folder. I'll name this one Another Test and I'll move my newly created file to this folder. Now let's create a web root. I could use my own domain by typing it here. For this example, I'm going to use anothertest.nina.codingen.com. Now let's go and see our code in action. Furthermore, you have PHP MyAdmin already installed, so you can easily manage your databases within the CodingGen website.
This concludes our screencast. Please explore all the other features CodingGen offers and enjoy developing your own applications. Let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.